This is a second in a series of two videos looking at the basic concepts in angles. The, the first one uh, looked at angles on a straight line, vertically opposite angles, angles in a triangle and our angles around a point. This video focuses on angles in parallel lines. You will find a summary of everything in an attached PowerPoint presentation that is uh, included in this email. So let's have a look at parallel lines. Uh, the first thing to remember about parallel lines is firstly is knowing exactly what they are. So the first thing is parallel lines. Very simply, two lines that remain the same distance apart at all times. Uh, I often find it a lot easier to think about it as train tracks because obviously the distance apart never changes. And it is shown by two arrows. That's the first thing. When we're dealing with angles in parallel lines, we're also dealing with a straight line that cuts those two uh, parallel lines. And this is called the transversal. Okay, so what can we say about angles in parallel lines? Well, let's just mark on an angle to start with. I'll use the blue pen to start with. There we go, there's one angle. Now, we should know from our previous angles work that because these are two straight lines that cross, that these two angles, this blue one here and this one blue one here, are the same because they are vertically opposite. It's also therefore fair to say that the other big one, this big one here, and this angle here is also the same. Now, the key thing here is we have two parallel lines and the straight line. Now, the straight line cuts both parallel lines in exactly the same way. So what we can also say is that this angle here is the same as this one here. It's in the same position, so it's exactly the same. So that angle is blue, let's just colour all of these in so it's nice and clear. Now again, we can apply the same concept to vertically opposite angles. We can say if, that one's, if this one here is the one angle, this one here is also the same. Okay. Now, we can also again do the same with the red lines, or with the red angles, sorry. So if that one is there, this one is also the same. And those two are the same because they are vertically opposite. So what we have here is within parallel, uh, angles on parallel lines, there are only ever two angles for you to consider. It's just a matter of identifying which they are. Now, the relationship of these different angles, we have certain key words for them and certain things we can use to explain it. So let's have a look at some examples. So here we go. So we're going to look at the key words and we're going to make sure we're happy with what's going on. What we can see here is that, that from our diagram over here on the, uh, on the right here, that this one here is what we were colouring in a blue one. So we know that. So if that's blue, we also know that this is blue. So we know they're the same. Now what that forms, some people, and this is the way it used to be taught, where some people will say, well, that actually forms a Z. Uh, and that is true, it does. Uh, and so some people used to refer to these as the Z angles, but that's not what we call them anymore. Or we're not, we don't use that terminology in GCSE maths. Uh, what is the only, the acceptable term is these are alternate angles. Okay, and here is another situation, another example of an alternate angle. But in this situation, the angle we're actually after is this one here. Um, what we've got is here's the red angle. Okay, and so what we're looking at here is this is also forming some form of Z. Uh, but obviously what it might be is you can consider it's, it's kind of an upside down Z. So you've got to be careful about it. You can sort of turn the page around to, to, to actually get a better look at what, what you're looking at. Um, but these are again alternate angles. So if that is 116 degrees, that is 116 degrees. Okay, so the first one we had, the first keyword we had was alternate angles. 
The other one we've got is an example here. We've got 54 degrees here and we have this angle here. Now we know from our diagram previously, um, so we've got what we're looking at is we've got this one here and this one here. And we know they're blue, they're both the same. So we know they're the same, uh, but the t the, the, what we're saying is, but why we call this relationship corresponding? So they are called corresponding angles. And what some people used to call them was F angles. So that is the F that some people have been shown before. Again, we don't use the term F angle anymore. We always use the term corresponding. Okay, so always keep your eyes open because sometimes you might find uh, in this, again, we've got another situation here where we've got two corresponding angles but in a way, I suppose, if, you, if you're used to looking for the sort of let the, the, the F angle bit, it's actually an upside down F. But remember, we only use the term corresponding. So that is the basics for parallel lines. And you can use just alternate angles and corresponding angles to solve any of the sort of questions that you have. But there is one more angles or, or, or relationship that you may have met. So, there's our parallel lines, there is our transversal line. And the one you may have met is, if we have that angle there, and we have that angle there, um, the relation to you, you may have that, is these two. Now, these two angles, obviously just bear in mind, if I colour this in, you can see that you have a straight line here. So a red and a blue add up to 180 degrees. So here we've got a red and a blue, they also add up to 180 degrees. So this is, this is it's different from alternate and corresponding where they're the same. These two angles add up to 180 degrees and it's called a supplementary. They are supplementary angles. Supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees. Uh, and what some people have been shown previously is these have previously been called a C or a U angle. But again, we don't use C or U. What we actually say is they are supplementary. Second in the series on angles. Please have a look at the questions uh, and answer what you've been asked to complete and check your answers next lesson. Thank you.